no problem. No problem. All right. Uh, we are going to work on that spinning armbar again. Okay. So, so let's see how we're going to do. We're going to practice. We're going to do some muscle memory exercise first. All right. So look at how easy that's going to be. All right. So my partner is going to start on his side. Okay. I'm going to work right and left. So what I have to know is my the leg that is close to his head, I'm gonna get over his head first. So I'm gonna go here. One, I'm gonna do one more step. I'm gonna place his legs and then I'm gonna go to the side. I'm gonna be on my knees, my partner, he's gonna turn. All right, you see how, where is his head, his arm? His arm is over my shoulder, okay? His arm is over the shoulder that is close to his legs. Not this one here, okay, right there. So right now, I'm just gonna go from one side to the other side. And that's just the first one. So which leg goes first? The leg that is close to the head. I'm not gonna step over the body because it's gonna catch my leg. So I go one. So remember, there's two steps. One, second step. I'm gonna face his legs, two. I'm going to move the leg, and I'm going to start right here. My partner, he's going to turn, and I'm going to go. One, two, three. Knee on the mat. And then I'm going to go again. One, two, and three. I'm going to go again. So just be careful. You see, sometimes you get off balance. Be careful with the person on bottom. So see that? I'm not even touching his arm. I'm just want to warm up a little bit going to from one side to another. All right. So let's see. That's going to be for one minute. Okay. That was much better. Much better. So now we're going to add some details on this position. Look. So again, I don't need to hold the arm yet. All right. But Everything will be the same. So I'm going to go here. One and two. All right. So I'm going to turn. I'm going to sit back right there. And then start over. You see, the only difference is that I'm going to leave the leg over his neck. I'm just going to sit back. I don't need to swing my leg over his stomach. So I'm here. I go here, one, two. I leave his leg right there and sit back. So I have one leg over the neck, the other leg, my foot is on the mat. I don't need to do this. Okay, so let's see here in a different angle, right there. So look, arm is over the shoulder. So remember, I'm gonna use this leg first. So I go one. Leg is over the neck. And then one more step because I need to face his legs. So once I do that, look at my foot. How deep is my foot? If my foot's right there, when I sit back, I'm gonna be far away from him. Okay, so it's important to be right there. I'm gonna spin and sit back. So I have one leg over the, the neck. The other leg is bent right here, okay? So let's try to do that. That's gonna be for one minute. All right, time. So you see, this whole time, what we are doing is we are creating that muscle memory. That is really important. So the reason that is important is when you see that situation, when you're sparring, you don't even need to think about it. You just go and then you do, do the position. So now we are going to start getting a grip on the arm. Okay, so he's already, he's stayed, he's gonna be on his side, all right, and then I'm gonna go right here. Okay, so and then if you see right now, that is one arm really close to my arm. The other arm is 
not so close. And then that's why I'm going to grab. So uh, if you have a gi, my grip is on my collar right here. If you don't have a gi, the grip is on his arm. But look, I'm using only one arm to control his arm. The reason that I'm doing that is because sometimes what happens, he's not going to let me do He's going to raise his head right there. And then I really need to clear the space. I'm going to push the head down. And then I'm going to go one, two. As soon as I get my leg over the head, I don't need that head anymore. All right, I can let go. And then I'm going to turn. I'm going to spin on top of him. I'm not going to worry about this leg. This foot is on the mat. I'm going to spin and sit back. Now I have two hands on the wrist. I have his thumb up. I have my knees together. Especially, it's really important to squeeze the arm because I don't have this leg over. All right, so I cannot be here on top with my legs open because look at how easy it's for him to skate. So the leg is over the neck. It's really important. Knees together and get the submission. Again. See, he's on his side and then I go. Look, one, hand that is close to the head, push the head down. Step one, step two, spin, knees together, control the wrist. Bring the hand down till the person taps. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna give a little bit more time. Okay, time. So, Let's see here what we're gonna do. And that's the question that everybody says to me after I teach this class. Hey, Eduardo, why? Why when you're drilling this position, it's so easy. And actually, when you are sparring, it's so hard to do. See, look at what are we doing right now. My partner, he has his arm over my shoulder. He's on his side already. That's why it's so easy. But when you're sparring with someone, this is not going to happen. All right, so I have to create the situation. Okay, so when I get the side mount, that's my position. Usually, his arm is between my arms. If he make a mistake to place his arm over the shoulder, and this is when I'm gonna attack. So look, I get my collar, and then look what happened right now. The arm is trapped. There's nothing that he can do right here, and he's gonna move that arm, so look, it's trapped. If I'm just holding the arm, maybe he's gonna move the arm, but when I get my collar right here, if he tries to move, look, he's gonna get stuck. All right, and this is just the first step. What I miss, I'm missing here. I have the arm control, but what? That is something that I still don't have it? Yes. What? I need to bring him to his side. If I don't do that, it's guaranteed that you're going to lose the submission because you're going to leave a lot of space. So once you get the position here, this is not done. So look, I need to pull him. See, I, I can use both arms right here. One arm, I'm, I'm holding his arm. The other arm I'm, I have here on his back. So now I have the chance to get that submission. Push the head with my elbow, step over one and two, spin and get the arm. And I'm really close to him. All right, and then everything is the same. Two hands on the wrist, bring the hand down, I get the submission. Again. So look, I'm, we are going to start right here. But Eduardo, what, what if the arm is here over the other shoulder? Well, this is 
I can I I cannot do that spin number from here. Maybe remember that katagatomi we did last uh, few weeks ago. Maybe that's an option. But this is just when the arm is here. If his arm is right there, what I'm gonna have to do? Instead to move his arm, I'm gonna move my head. Oh, now the arm is on the right position. I'm gonna go one, two, two, and get it. All right, let's try to do that. Two more minutes. That's good for today. Thank you for taking the class. So remember that next week. Okay. Oh, I might. We have we have our outdoor workout on Thursdays at 2 p.m. That was great to see you, Stone Dad. I hope to see you. I hope to see more of you these two this this next Thursday. All right. Bye, Eduardo. Bye bye. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.